Hey, what's up YouTube? So today, a little bit different today. It's Wednesday and I'm off on Wednesday, so normally that means I'm vlogging, but uh, I had a chill day today. I had some things I had to take care of, so I wanted to cover a different topic. I wanted to do a tutorial. I don't wanna make this a tutorial channel. I'm probably not gonna do tutorials very often, uh, but this is something that I thought was pretty important. I record on a cell phone, mobile device. I use a Note 8 with uh, Filmic Pro, and I've mentioned that in my descriptions. Something that I haven't really found a good solid solution for, exactly how to fix the invariable issue with the audio not syncing with the video. It's frustrating. There are all kinds of videos out there that show you how to do one thing, and that's how to change the file type from MP4 to MOV. And I tried that, it doesn't work. I've seen a lot of comments on those videos, not working for a lot of people. But then the videos don't go any further to explain other options. So I've got some other options, that's good news. Now sometimes you can find the ones that show you how to use Handbrake, we're gonna look at that here today. But there's another option out there that I kind of figured out by, I don't wanna say by accident, but just by messing around with stuff. So I wanna, I wanna share that one with you as well as walking you through the Handbrake piece. The handbrake part is going to be free. The other part is going to cost you a little bit of money. It's going to cost you 60 bucks, roughly. But whether you're shooting mobile video because you can't afford a camera yet, or you're saving up for a camera, or just because you want to move into mobile video for a lot more shooting, we've got that issue to overcome, right? So I think we can invest if we want to make sure that our audio works, right? Because if you can't hear us in the video or our mouth's moving, but then the audio is trailing behind five seconds later, it doesn't make much sense. I think we can invest that little bit of money into that. From what I understand uh, in emailing and reading the responses to reviews from Filmic Pro on the Google Play Store is that mobile phones don't even have the capability of recording in a constant frame rate, which is what's causing the issue on the audio. So let's tackle that issue right now. Let's go, let's, let's go take a look on the computer. All right, the first thing I wanna show you is exactly what I'm talking about uh, when I'm saying that the audio is out of sync. I pulled a file on the desktop. We're gonna drag this over and let's listen. You know, I hate this place so bad, but it's a good thing uh, my wife bought this air filter and uh, she got the wrong sink there. So that's not gonna work, right? So if we if we pull in handbrake, right? This is the, the the big answer to a lot of people, what they're saying, what they wanna do. I'm gonna open this open source, open a single file. You can do an entire folder if you want. Uh, we're gonna go on to the desktop, pull that in. It's a relatively short video. I'm gonna go over to video. I'm gonna change this to, because it was shot in 30 frames per second, we're gonna do a constant frame rate. It's gonna stay at an MP4. I'm gonna make sure it's at 1080p times 30 over here. They don't have a 60 option. Uh, you can downgrade the quality if you want. Uh, we're gonna make the destination the exact same place as the last one. We're gonna type it in there and I'm gonna write, uh, just edit that real quick to handbrake. Well, let's take out the T. I like T. Okay, and then we're gonna start the encode. Time remaining, like a minute. Well, 21 seconds, 24 seconds. So you can imagine this clip here isn't very long. So this is this is taking a while. So if you had a lot of video that you wanted to do, first of all, you have to be content with 1080p. Uh, if you're fine with 1080p, then, then you can stop after this section. You're fine. But if you if you're dealing with higher resolution video, that's where we're going to get into the next step here in just a little bit. Uh, it's still going, and so it's still record, or still encoding. Yeah, now it's done. All right. So according to what I said, uh, according to where I said I was going to export it, so there's the handbrake version, right? So let's pull that in. Import files. There's a handbrake version. Let's stick this over here in a timeline. You know, I hate this place so bad, but it's a good thing uh, my wife bought this air filter. and uh... So it works, right? It works. Um, and then you're done. You can export from there, or you can do all, any of your color correction, whatever you want to do, and you're done. Now, what if that's not good enough? What if you have high resolution files? I'm going to use this same clip, even though it's a 1080p file. Um, but we're going to, this is how I do it. This is a much longer process. Well, I say much longer. You're going to need two programs. Um, you're going to need Audacity, which is a free shareware program. 
Um, and that's what that's what I used to use to edit audio when I did podcast. I do subscribe to the Creative Cloud with Adobe with all the, the applications. But for this specific task that I'm trying to do, I still use Audacity because for some reason it just works a lot better. Okay, so here's the part where we're going to have to spend 60 bucks. You're like, Mike, you have Premiere Pro CC. Why do you need another video editing software? Well, this is just happens to be the one that I used when I was first getting started making videos. The first software that I purchased, so I, I happen to have it. So this is Sony's Movie Studio Platinum. This isn't the Vegas Pro or Vegas Platinum. It's the regular Movie Studio Platinum. So I'll go to New. I'm going to browse for my footage. I'm going to grab this same clip, not the handbrake one because it's already fixed. We're going to grab this original one, open it. Oh, I'm going to match the media settings. I don't care. You can give it a title, whatever, whatever. Here's something that you have to make sure. So once you have Audacity and once you have this, you need to go to preferences. So options, preferences, audio, preferred audio editor. You need to browse through here, pick your Audacity. Audacity is going to need to be what you use to edit the audio. Add media. Again, we're going to go right back to desktop. I'm going to grab the non-handbrake one. This software works with variable frame rates, so it's, that's why I use it for this purpose. I'm going to drag it into here. So we're going to click on this bottom one here, right? I'm going to right click, open copy and audio editor. It's going to add, uh, this is an, an, a message from Audacity. Make a copy of the files before editing, safer. And it's going to open this up in Audacity. There it is, right? So I don't have to do anything if I don't want to. Your audio file is right here. It's going to say, it's going to have the exact same name as the video file. There's a bunch of crap that I messed up on earlier. It's going to have the same name as the video file. Or if you want, if, if it doesn't do this step for whatever reason, I'm just going to go file, export audio. I'm going to pick where I want it. We're going to do here and I'm going to save it as a wave file. This is a wave file, 16 bit. It already exists. When to replace, I'm going to say, yeah, you can do whatever you want to here. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Back in Premiere, we already know these two are out of sync. Let's verify it. 14 by 14. So we're going to get this oil. Doesn't work. So I'm going to unlink it. Highlight the audio. Delete it. Import. We're going to go from desktop. I'm looking for one that says take three. Can I have a take three? Now I've got another, I've got another file over here. Here's this take three audio. Bam. Now I'm going to come down here and kind of make sure that everything lines up. My wife bought this air filter and uh, she got the wrong one. She wrote on now her shopping list. Here's some of the problem that you're going to have with, with doing this. Where you see the problems are sometimes at the beginning or sometimes at the end. You see how this doesn't quite line up? That's your variable frame rate from the video talking right there. So if I go back to the beginning, you're going to hear like a little stutter. You know, you know, I hate this place so bad, but see it's that? a good thing. So you might want to give yourself a little leeway when you're shooting. If you're going to be shooting on mobile phone, this is important. This is if you're shooting on mobile phone, you're not using a DSLR, a mirrorless professional equipment. We're doing this on a mobile phone. So you got to kind of have to make, you're going to have to make some allowances to that. So I'm just going to, you know, okay. I can see this is where my other one is. I need to link these two together now. So shift click on both of those link. Let's hit my C to cut that. Shift, delete. There we go. Now it should line up. You know, I hate this place so bad, but it's a good thing. Uh... Anyway, it's something, this is some footage that I had that I never ended up using from anything. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Not going to do a whole bunch of tutorials. Probably I say that now and then who knows what happens in the future, but give me some comments below. Did this work for you? Did this not work for you? Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for coming along. And until next time, we will see you later.